Amen. With joy in my heart. Amen. Redemption Church worldwide. Enugu State, Nigeria. The Southeast. The entire nation of Nigeria. And the whole world that is watching us live right now. Join us wherever you are to make welcome to the podium. Our Father in faith. Reverend Dr. Omar Okba. Hey. Hey. Your <laughs> The latest style. I need Ebe mwa chile ke no, nsi na ho, idu tonku ufe. Ana gura nyo kwe ya dire. Umuna, umwegi heka na gina Jesus suna aga. Umwegi heka ya. Ndi kidnapa jidere. Simu mwa hedi na kopa. Na mga ujove bosi mnye he godu mji Na mutu Na na hakob si na hakob Iho la ti Ana mangu wadu kati Ika fo keti Ye mene ka kama ndike ya Mwele kope ilu mwo Bimla bimla asum pose Mji makego Nang we have. Mga would try and go happen we have. Say, in that you don't hear a yok bo, a one gets here, I hear your gadaji. We lake of Mocha, we wrote him how an elem nele. Elecran you in a born Wahana. Come, I turn to demonstrate the power of the kingdom myself. Noa, a polar command to ye go. How much in a car, nay, ye have. Nina, Tinaka has a hand on a tolojo. Why had I get a better minute at Toto? No, dear sir. Neck will run out, neck will run out. My water clear walk on a boogie, a boy, a man of work and you talk. What I could not run on your home, what take on this in one year? Not sick, but I have but I got it the moon himself, Madame Bia Bia Bia. You were well got to be boy. When you be as a more so good at Togo candy. Nay, I'm watching a 
ana bramba bosso e bosso mo joba posegi nde nyere mo kwu mu anwola mo kwu oto nu ke hanwa ihe joba prime mbe wonye wo principal governor of the state kombia kpere kpere nsia ibuzo na na christ osumba mba ah njo your excellency kembe hu ni bo e mana mo ho no yo tu ni be mana ma abali seta mi chair ge ta abali seta ge tegi ni bo ahun lege ige chari ko ige wonye muslim wonye akwa no onye si school ho biko pe pe ra nti amba no governor ige chari ko ige chari e ba hin no na balea modeni rogo ma modeni ham Onye na jere gobunye ozi bawaramba sai nwe keme chonu ngirige civil servant na wanya governor e e e chore nwo ya sembikoka na gete harugbe toka ya wo kai ha brinu wa owa ni wa ndu wo ma eh eh onye ha no go so se ya awa nya wa ndu wo ma ihe ndi ozo na acho na acho anyi wa ha onwe ndi kure tu a ha ama ta bu mother's day e o mu nwa e nu wo ndi wo ma e ma nu wo ke ga fe nwa e ne to ha ri si ele onyo ga fe re ma na ara ji e ha e me na to e le ju ma nya wo na gogo tu ntakiri ha 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 wo ke mo ano mo ise wo bro mu nyem na ga mu iri na bo ya ti enpo ha de wo ngbe ti na ke kere ha o mo anya bo ri ga mo kere anya wa ha ma mo ti na ke kere ndi nigeria o woro ejigi ya o mo anya bo ai di che na ndi ozo ye na to mo che o ngbe mi na to ro na na ga ro na la bike onye na je na zo onye onye ocho hi ndi ga na ekele wa ya se gba li ala na ha wa ge me di di ha ogbo o mo wa yun ni wonde o wo ma ana ma cho ko nyo bla ga mo nti ga mu nwa ga legi nka ne mo no ma gura be 30 years ya nwa gura mi a ga ga ta ho ho ga ga cho ho bla ga ga si he ga ga zulo o mo wa ga ne le ko ta ga nya akpa rice kwa week akpa beans kwa week 25000 kwa week onye obla le kotara ga ajan chere ga university ogala aga menyego kasim zoro ya mota abo ne kam zoro go tu imo ke se megi den de drivers mazozo ba ha go go wa yo aga mazozo e ga mu nwa ga legi nka Mwa ga zoro go moto. So that me ga ga ni gwe ga gwa ni enyi ge si mbe mbe kanu no wa na nwa ga nyere go to moto. Ana ga wo moto nto ga wo. Ha? Ga wo jeep. 
Jonathan. 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 Oh, you are not going to get me again. Well, you are not going to be able to see it. Yes, sir. 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 I want you, woman. My woman, keep bear when they won't watch in the key. Ebidramija, nineteen fifty eight. What you do, Nick, and it's in a car, but I you. Only we were on a make a leggy wall. On a juru, for a What's <laughs> Discussing the seven blessings God has asked me to announce to you. But you have seven, seven thousand blessings of God for you as a believer. Seven thousand promises. Seven thousand blessings. And therefore you cannot be, you cannot afford to be a failure. I refuse you becoming a failure. Like Hamilton, how well that will be really, you will still bounce back. Uncle Bangwa here again, Olivia Agube. It takes God only one second to turn a hopelessly wretched, stupidly poor man into a rich man. Only one second. Nihia. You can never fail. Now, Balea, did you ever what my problem was? Church, you know, uh, I didn't make enough space because I did 52 people. Ha balia balia ha ho mat onyi na no chere ho zo mana balia atwo brum kan po i kan ke li gwe na mon ke jova ka megide he na megide ke 
Wow. <laughs> but they be if you hang out by a bru hand again, all oh, my problem. Huh? Also again. Upstairs. You have space. Yeah, I walk up back here. Okay, boy, again. Yem toro kamkuwa zomne kwa lambo Modindi nogo ma Mwade kwa nsuma Bia Kwa madhano Iha yukurubwe Kuzoko Seventy-eight. My mother sent for me and my wife. She said she saw me on television that I was looking like a rich man, laughing like a Cheshire cat, but that she knew I was hopelessly and wretchedly and stupidly poor, that I had no house in our village. He, she said, "You appear on television. You smile like one rich man." That she said, no, 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 of us who know you, we know you are a stupid poor man. You carry your Bible up and down. No evidence of God's glory upon you. Ma, what do you want? She said, I want a house in the village. I will tell God this night. Tomorrow morning, He will bring money. We will start building tomorrow. She said, she, she said, you sound like God lives in your house. Ma, he lives in my house. We meet every day, every morning, every evening. Even as I was coming, we're talking. And money is ready. She asked me, just like that, just like that. I am a choice child of God and a choice servant of God. When I cry out, God responds. Ma, money is not my problem. She said, now you know why I hate all the so-called Pentecostal believers. You are all stupidly arrogant. You mean you just tell God that he will bring money. Ma! The Bible says, ask and shall receive. We'll return to you, my wife and I. We prayed that night and thanked God and went to bed. The next morning, an elder of the Apostolic Church in Abba said he was sleeping and God woke him up and asked him to take money to me and gave him my address, my name. He said, I have not been to you and God said, I'll guide you. Go to you. I have a servant there. As he spoke to a widow concerning Elijah, the man came with good money. I prayed for him that morning. We drove to the village that day, gave it to my mother. She counted the money and said, this is not enough to buy the type of land I want you to buy. If you told God to give you money yesterday and he gave you, go back today. Tell him this money is not enough. I beg my wife not to take offense. My mother was a good tomboy. When a woman is pretty, she's also dangerous. We return to you. Do you know the next morning, the same man came back and said, God asked him to increase the amount he gave me. And he brought an amount that mesmerized and dazzled me. There's nothing greater in my life than my walk with God. We drove to the village. 
gave my mother this second installment of money. She counted it. She asked me, you tell me, are you a preacher or an arm robber? Where did you get such money? Our work with God cannot be explained in human common sense. The God we serve is God of limitless, boundless possibilities. I want you to hear me. There is no greater blessing in life than to partner with God and work with God through life. My mother asked me to look into her eyes and answer her question. She asked me, are you an arm robber or a preacher? Ma, there is no money in arm robbery. Every arm robber is only lucky once. The day he is caught, he will be locked up. But the man that has been called by God to work with God is a man of limitless, boundless possibilities. Right where you are tonight, I want you to hear me. The God I have called you to follow can make all things possible. Come. If you're a man wearing a necklace, remove it. Okay? Remove that your stupid thing. If you want to walk with us, or walk with us. If you want to join the world, join the world. If you say you're a child of God and you have no evidence of being a child of God, you're a pretender. Beginning tonight, there are seven blessings God have for you. Yeah. And I want you to carry those blessings everywhere you go. Yeah. I want you to remind yourself of who you are. When the enemy blocks your way, tell him who you are. This God has repeatedly said to you, fear not, for I am with you. Can we see the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14? Madam, open your Bible. Don't look at me like I am a, a mumu. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? Are they not all ministering spirits sent, sent forth to, to minister, minister for, for them? Not to, but for them who shall them be that, heirs of salvation. Them that shall be heirs of salvation. I don't know, I, I, I did a little bit of army work during the war. I was, I was, I was, I was an officer. The joy and the beauty of being an officer is that they will give you a, a, another officer who will follow you everywhere you go and will pick your quarrels. <laughs> that may work is beautiful. You have somebody who follows you with an arm with an arm in his hand, ready to pick your quarters and fight your battles. Everywhere you go as an officer. If anybody insults you, you don't have to fight. The Batman, we call him Batman. That Batman will fight for you. As believers who have been given Batman who are not human beings. They are angels. And they fight for us. Tell me why you will not be a born again child of God. When you become born again, the Spirit of God will help you to hate sin and love righteousness. The Spirit of God will expound the Bible of God and expatiate it and explain it and bless you with the Spirit of understanding and will quicken your own understanding. And will bless you with wisdom. And will bless you with knowledge. You will not be an ordinary person. Why would you stay away from being a born again child of God? Jesus said, as many as have received me, I give them what? Power. Hmm. 
A man that has power commands attention. Everywhere he goes, he commands attention. That's what God is offering you. Let's see the book of what? The book of Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. I want you to hide this Bible passage in your heart. As, 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 as a believer, you must know who you are. You are not an ordinary person. There's a bad man behind you that will fight your battles. Yes, sir. Of saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches. Jesus received power on our behalf and riches and wisdom and wisdom and strength and strength and honor and honor and glory and glory and blessing and blessings I wonder why why would anybody stay away from being born again because this God will give you let's take it again the first one is what power he said as many as received me to them I gave what power And what is the second thing? Riches. As believers, we don't beg for money. And people like me, I don't even beg for anything. When I quarrel with the assistant governor, he revoked the land another governor had given me. People came begging me to go with them to beg the governor. And I said, no, sir. I don't beg anybody for anything. Why? Men and brethren, we are redeemed sons of God. We are God's choice children. We dwell in his peculiar concentrated power. And we are not ordinary people. I play with men who marry unbelieving wives. Don't make them cry. Because one day you give account of those tears. Every married man, don't make your wife cry. Or else one day you give account of the tears. My friend, you're playing with fire. When she cries, heaven listens. And heaven will respond. A, a, a man who later became the secretary to the state government was beating his wife while she was praying. He, he said he heard the voice that said, go to Oma. Or else I'll deal with you. He came to me. Okay. You are looking for my ordinary stupid preacher. What happened? He said, I heard the voice of God and I became frightened and intimidated. I don't want to die. What does God want me to do? I, I asked him, What did God tell you to receive from me? He said, To receive Christ. I led him to Christ, made him an elder. Soon after, he became secretary, secretary to government. Every time people attacked him, he would run to me. I will give instruction to them to leave him alone. And they will leave him alone. Something funny happened. He wanted his son to marry my second daughter. And I said, I don't have such power. Then the girl choose who she wants to marry. He said, I won't come to fellowship again. Ah, thank you. Those who used to attack him, I attacked him again. He couldn't come to me. And then he died. We are not ordinary people. This God says, I will give you five, I mean seven blessings. And I want you to hear me. Those blessings will last forever. Yeah. We take it again. The first thing is what power. Can we take the book of 
Luke chapter 10. Let's say verse 19. What does it say? I give unto you power. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold. Behold. I give unto you power. Power. To tread on serpents and scorpions. On serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And over all the powers of the enemy. <clears throat> and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Can we all repeat that wonderful amazing line? Nothing shall by any means hurt me. In my family, we had a wizard. If you argue with him in the morning, you'll die in the evening. That's how my father died. <laughs> I came to the man and said, Oh God, I am now born again. The power of the kingdom of God has been given to me. If you try to kill anybody again in this family, you'll die seven days without dying. He said, oh my, you're a rat. Oh God, I am a rat, yes, but there is Jesus sitting behind me. This is not ordinary rat, though. This rat came from heaven. <laughs> my grandmother had it and ran to me and said, oh man, why are you putting your two legs in a burning raging fire? This man, a man, stop. When power meets with power, the lesser power shall bow to the greater power. She said, I will not give you pocket money again. I will not love you again. If you die, I will not cry. Why are you putting your hand into the mouth of a lion? Ma, it is because... I am bigger than this lion. I want you to know who you are. Ignorance is a terrible disease. It has made so many people stupid. But this night you will not be one of them. He said, I'll give you power. And we read on, so I said, I behold, I give unto your power. The to serpents, tread upon serpents and scorpions and scorpions and over all powers of the oh, enemy that man died we went to bury him he woke up and said they asked me to name all those i have killed i will not die until i name them he named three and died again as we went back to bury him he woke up he continued for six days on the seventh day my elders asked him what is your problem? Are you afraid to die? He said, this small boy, look at him. His medicine is not from this world. <laughs> when they told me, I laughed. And then, the seventh day, he, he died finally. That's all I can tell you now, because you are not ready to hear more. As a believer, I said it last night, I repeat it tonight. We are too dangerous for any enemy to handle. No, no, no. I, you didn't say it well. Oh. I come from a royal family. And we have native doctors that were hired to protect us. But they began to kill us, <laughs> which was good. Whoever is alive can possess the position of the community. A dead man cannot farm. But there are people you cannot kill. No, you can't kill us. The Bible says, I'll give you power. Can we turn to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12? What does it say? Yes, sir. John chapter chapter one, but but as many as received him, I like I like that beautiful line. As many as receive him, to them wait, gave wait, power. wait, wait. As many as receive him, as many as receive him, it is not limited. If two million of us receive him today, the same power shall be given to us. 
You people should stop acting like you are, you are, you are, you are little boys. You are not. And brothers went to attack the house and he said to them, I am an anointed man of God. Run away before God will fire you. And they ran. They ran. They said, I'm a wicked though. He wanted God to kill us. Only we ran fast. Read on, sir. He said, as when I received him, what happened? To them gave he power. To, to become what? the sons of God. To become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. As a child of God, when people slap you, God will see them. He will see them and take note of them. And will pencil them down for punishment. No man married to a woman that abuses her will ever prosper. Why? Because she'll cry to God her father. And, they, and this father will fight back for her. So when you marry your wife, don't beat her. If she says, Bugari is from Enugu State, just say, praise the Lord. Don't argue with her. Don't fight her. That God may bless you. Yes, sir. Read on, sir. No, we are back to chapter 5. We are back to chapter 5, verse 12 of the book of Revelation. Yes, sir. Riches. And when we speak of riches, I have been preaching for so many years. I have never borrowed money. This is my beautiful girl, and who is also my wife. No, wait, come, what did I say wrong? Come, when I married this girl, she was the prettiest girl in our village. And the funny thing was, I had gone to U.S., miracles happened, a girl said to me, if I don't marry you, nobody will marry you, I will shoot you. I had never seen a girl with a gun. When I saw one, I jumped through the window and return to Nigeria and God said why are you wasting your time I have a girl for you and um, no if you are a good believer don't propose to any girl until God has spoken to you don't, don't allow a girl to make you look stupid before she says you are not my level no, go to God let God do it for you. Huh? <laughs> right where you are. The Bible says this God can bless us with money, bless us with a wife, bless us with good family, bless us with knowledge, bless us with wisdom, bless us with creativity. Bless us with imagination. No man can grow beyond his own imagination. And this God can bless you and make you an extraordinary person. Last night we read the book of Job, chapter what, 14 verse... No, chapter what? Chapter 33 verse 13. 33 14, verse 14 through 16. 16. God says. For God speaketh once. He, he speaks once. Yet twice. Yet twice. Yet man perceived it not. Perceived it not. In a dream. But when you sleep on your bed in a dream. In a vision of the in night. A, in a vision of the night. When deep sleep when falleth deep upon sleep man. falls upon you. In slumbering upon the bed. While slumbering upon your bed. He will not open your open ears. ears and seal and their instructions. your instructions. And give you knowledge, and give you message, and give you wisdom, and give you creativity, and give you imagination, and show you how to see beyond the scene, and see beyond the obvious, and see beyond the natural. My friend, whether I like it or not, you will not be a poor man. You were called by God to bless the poor. If you are the poor, who will bless the poor? (sighs) 
We are back to chapter 9 of the book of Revelation. We take verse 12. There are seven blessings of God waiting for you to pick. I want you to write it down somewhere. Every morning you wake up, say to God, bless me with wisdom. Bless me with creativity. Bless me with favor. Favor with God and with man. Favor everywhere I go. Favor is God fighting your battles for you. Favor is God blessing you beyond measure. Favor is God cleaning away your tears. Favor is God turning your lamentation into laughter. Favor is God turning your sickness into good health. I, I, we, did, we did it last night. Place your hand where there is sickness and rebuke that sickness. And this God will heal you instantly. Wow. You are rich in everything. You are rich in everything. This night, God will confront what confronts you. Read on, sir. What's the next? What number three? Wisdom. I, I don't know. Can we see the book of Proverbs, chapter eight? Let's tell this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen. Wow. Yes, sir. Do not wisdom cry and understanding put forth a voice. Wisdom cried to men and said, Stop behaving foolishly. Come to me. I'll give you instruction and direction. No, let's turn to the book of Isaiah chapter 48. We'll take verse 17. What does it say? Awesome God. Yes, sir. Verse 17. Yes. Thus said the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Thy Redeemer. Thy Redeemer. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy God. Which teacheth thee to profit. Everybody hear me. Right where you are, there is a promise by God from God to you. That He, God, will teach you how to live a profitable life. I was only 10 years when God asked me to go to cross River State with a woman and buy balls, rubber balls and ask the woman to carry it for me back to school. Do you know I did that? Everybody wanted to buy my ball. But they had to pay me. And I said to the people, you can use your school fees. And they use their school fees. I didn't say use your school fees. I said you can use your school fees. <laughs> My aunt, who was the headmistress, came to beat me for asking them to you, uh, Madam. I didn't ask them. I said they can. <laughs> wow. Now I said, remember you were primary school. As a primary school pupil, and we are selling over 100 balls. Remember, I will fix the price. I determine the price. I will set the price. You have to bring any money on you. Whether you stole it is your business. <laughs> Just bring money. Kai, our work with God is amazing. When you come to a place where you know what others don't know, you be distinguished by you become a distinguished person. And by my spoken word tonight, you are going to be a distinguished person. Hey, if anybody looks down on you today, don't worry. Because your tomorrow shall be better than today. No, your shoes will soon change. <laughs> Ask my wife. Somebody gave me how many pair of shoes, Pastor Joe? Twenty, 20 pair, pair of shoes shoe with my name, customized shoes. Another person brought me one hundred suits. Me alone. 
The funny thing, I've been trying to wear one a day, one a day. The day will not finish. And yet people are bringing more. And you're telling me a believer is an ordinary person. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because you have a teacher who will teach you at night how to overcome all obstacles. And that for every problem on your way shall soon be a promotion. He says he'll give us riches. And I want you to hear me beginning today. You're already rich. Just by being a child of God. God will give you information as to how many of you know information transforms a man. Am I correct? Yes, sir. By my spoken word tonight, God will transform you. Yes, Read on, sir. Let's go to number three. What is number three? Remember, God said, I will teach you to live a profitable life. I want you to hold somebody's hand and say to him, the master shall teach me to live a profitable life. No, go on, sir. You didn't finish the line. There's one more line there. Which leadeth thee the way you I will, should go? I will show you which way to go. You will not go to the house of a harlot. You will not go to the house of Papa Dopa. You know who is Papadopa? Papadopa is the man that sells Indian hemp. When I was eight years, I wanted to know what they do in my cousin's house where they were selling Indian hemp. Bushman. He gave me four wraps of Indian hemp and asked me to sniff it. I, I didn't know what it was. I sniffed it. The house went up and came back. I looked through the door. The roads were many. <laughs> that time I was not born again. Because God could have shown me the road to take. Not to go to Papa Dopa's house. I, I, I shouted and asked him, does your heart go up and down? He said, he said your head is still young. That's why you saw what you saw. Eh, what do I do? He said, either you stay away from this house or you just stay away from smoking this thing. It can make you mad. Do I have anybody who would like to be a madman here? I told him I'll never come to your house again. The funny thing is, 40 years after, he still frequents my house. My wife last time asked him not to come back. Come, madam, was it you or me? You. The madam, the mother. <laughs> Nani Jesus. Nani Jesus. Nani ya. Geborum Pamile. Ibuwa rumu nile O me wohante Ebe matara Na Jesus Buke O onanem nako Read on sir He says I'll give you riches And wisdom Wait, what does that mean, sister? Don't marry any man because of his money. Please. I don't care how much he has. Because the day he will abuse you, you'll be surprised. Marry only because you love a man. Are you hearing me? If you are looking for money, don't worry. Ask God to show you the man he wants you to marry. The man may have no cobalt today, but at the appropriate appointed time, he will have more money than your former choice. Read on, sir. Remember we're in the 
Yes, sir. The Five four. verse twelve. Yes, sir. Number four. And says, strength. Well, I'll give you strength. Every one of us needs strength. The strength that comes from God when God says to you, "Fear not, for I am with you." I may. I had a television interview in U.S. I don't know what I said. I don't know. I keep saying the wrong thing every time I'm in America. They don't like me, and I don't like them. People call me to say, for saying what you say, armed men will so come after you. But I was happy to see 20 angels surrounding me saying to me, Mama, don't fear anybody, we are here. No gun shall detonate in your presence. I said to my host, there are angels surrounding me here and they say nobody will shoot me. The man, <laughs> the man surprised me when he said, I, I knew it already. I thought I brought you a miracle story. He said, no, I knew God was with you. Men and brethren, the Lord is with you. Amen. Therefore, heaven commands and demands that you do what you fear not. Today may not be a wonderful day, but tomorrow will be your great day. Amen. Already there are destiny helpers sent by God to help you. Read on, sir. And honor. And this God will give you honor. Yeah. Wow. And glory. No, we're talking about honor in the presence of He who rules the whole world. If you have honor in the presence of God, what else are you looking for? Anything else? No. Wow. Read on, sir. And glory. And glory. And blessing. We are back to that beautiful word. Come on, take me to where the Bible says, the blessings of the Lord make it rich. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. I want you to hide that word in your heart. The Bible said, the blessings of the Lord will make you rich. And this God shall not add sorrow to it. Stand up and say to two persons, the blessings of the Lord shall make me rich. Can you raise your hand and declare he will not add any sorrow to it? One name, Whoa! 
into this arena shall not go back as sickness. Take your seat. As I walked into this arena, I heard your beautiful song. Onya ino nankeya. Oshidi ke. All those who are trying to harm you, tell them you have you have a Batman who is an angel. Can we see the book of Second Kings up to nineteen? Let's see verse thirty-four. Let's see, what can one angel do for you as a believer? Second Kings 19 verse 10. For I will defend, I will this, defend city this city, says this, the Lord. To save it. To save it. For my own sake. God will defend you, not for your sake, but for his sake. And for my servant David's sake. And for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night. It came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord the went angel out. Of the Lord went out and smote in the camp, of the, in the camp of the Assyrians. And hundred one hundred four and score and five thousand. That is one hundred and eighty-five thousand people. And when in they arose night, early in the come, morning, how many people live in your village? I do up to one hundred and eighty-five thousand. Wow! That is when one angel shall show up there to fight for you, there be trouble. <laughs> I, I know some of you, your mind is so little, you can't conceive, you can't hide, you can't believe what God is saying to you tonight. He will fight your battles. Yeah. Read on, sir. When they rose up early, no, in let's the go morning. back to. Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. Akaya, Akaya. Aka Jehovah Nimima. Olwe Bubeya. Kena Gari Nebeno. Isi Keno. Kena Gari Atata. Akaya, Akaya, Akaji over name in Aka, Akaya, Akaji over name in All the way, Bubeya, Kenaruari, Nebeno, Isi, Kenu, Kenadi, Atata. Akaya, 
Blessing says, I will give you understanding. Understanding is that God will help you understand some scriptures you don't understand today. Because this God shall run a school for you, He will make you knowledgeable, He will help you to know your rights so that Satan cannot cheat you anymore. There is a school running for you. Yeah. If Satan defeated you today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. you'll be knowledgeable to fight back. Yeah. Take your seat. Remember, take your seat. Remember the first thing he promised you tonight? His power. His power. Second thing, what? Riches. When God promises you riches, how many of you will be like I told you, my mother said, hey, you, you appear on television. You, you act like a rich man. You, you smile like a Cheshire cat. But you are a poor, stupid, poor man. Ma, what do you want? She said, I want you to build a house in the village. Is that all? She said, yeah, <laughs> Ma, I will tell the general superintendent. He will command the man, whoever has money to bring the money. She asked me, just like that? Just like what? You are not an ordinary person. You belong to a kingdom. You belong to a kingdom. You belong to a family. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Wow. When the man brought the money, my mother says, that all? Tell God. You said you spoke to God. Tell him to bring real money. This is no money. I went back and the man brought real money. Now the woman stopped and asked me, are you really a preacher? Oh, you a thief. Where did you get such money? Because she had never seen such money before. Right where you are. When God will begin to bless you, your enemies shall be overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> I told you yesterday, I went to buy a full full car. And the man said, Don't pay. Huh? Only in arm robbery that you don't pay to own a car. The man said, Don't don't pay. Your ministry made my wife pregnant and made her a mother. I made me a father, therefore go home with this car free. A man that can host six thousand people without raising money without raising money from the bank. Is he a poor man? A man that could take care of twelve assistants. Was he a poor man? A man who when he died, soldier fought for his dress. Was he a poor man? I want to now he is your savior and redeemer. Amen. Give him a good clap up from somebody. Amen. The seven blessings God gave Abraham are yours to claim. 
Therefore, every night, every morning, ask God to increase your wisdom. Ask him to bless you with favor. Ask him to equip you with creativity and imagination. Tell him to help you find favor in the sight of God and in the sight of me. Beginning tonight, there are angels assigned to help you become what God wants you to be. Oh, Jesus. That's why Satan wants to see you out of Christianity. He is jealous. He is stupidly angry. But promise me tonight that his jealousy will not affect you. Everything God gave Abraham has been given to you. Let's go to the book of Galatians chapter 3. Let's take 13 and 14. We take verse 29. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Christ had redeemed he us has, from, the he curse had redeemed of the from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for he us. He was made a curse for us. For it is written. For it is written. Curse is everyone that hanged on a tree. He was made a curse for you. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Verse 29 And if ye be Christ, if you be born again child of God, then are ye Abraham's, you are seed, Abraham's seed and hers according and to hers the promise according to the call of God But can we see Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 Wow. It was nine. For ye know the grace of you our know Lord the Jesus grace Christ. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich. That though he was stupendously rich. Yet for your yet sake. For your sake. Can somebody say, for my sake? For my sake. Say it one more time. For my sake. For my sake. He became poor. That through his poverty you may become rich. Hallelujah. Is that how you say amen? Let's go to Ted John's epistle with we'll take verse 2. I'm going to show you more reasons why you must be happy tonight. Beloved. Beloved. I wish above this all is things. This God speaking to you. He says, I have one million wishes for you. One million. Yes, sir. That thou mayest prosper. I want you to God, the maker of heaven and earth, he that designed you and conceived in your mother's womb, he, when you were nobody, knew all about you and has set you aside for greatness, for blessings. He says, I wish you above all things that you may prosper and be in health and be in good health. Even as thy soul prospereth. Even as your knowledge of the ability and availability of God increases in your life. I will, I will bless you beyond measure. Yes, sir. Right where you are sitting tonight, God has said it all. God wants you to be in health. And beginning tonight, I demand... You fight against every sickness, every disease. Every stone the enemy shall throw at you will become your stepping stone to greatness. Don't be afraid of any sickness. I was told by my doctor I had only one hour more to live. Dog, shut up your stupid mouth. Right where you are, you are a favored person. Yeah. And you are loved by God. Yeah. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world He gave. He loved you so much that He gave His only begotten Son, that He should take over your sufferings from you. 
and wipe away your tears. Right where you are tonight, I'm going to ask you one more time. Find out where you have sickness or problem. Lay your hand there. We are going to pray with you. I'm going to pray with you. And if you are among those that labor under easy irritability, that is, you get easily angry, it stops you from being a man. It makes you to labor under near success syndrome. Whenever you are close to a breakthrough, something will go wrong. But this night, I'm going to ask God to take away easy irritability from you. Yeah. That you may be the noble person God wants you to be. Yeah. I don't know what the enemy have thrown at you, which is limiting you. This night, it shall be taken out of your way. Yeah. That sickness, don't tell me a witch brought it. Beginning tonight, witches will fear you. They will be afraid of you. You don't have to be afraid of them. Because you have the army of heaven behind you. The army of God behind you. Can we turn to the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 20? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, and lo, I am with you always. This is God speaking to you. The Master Jesus is speaking to you. He says, Lo, I am what? I am with, with you. Always. What? Always. Even unto the end Even of the world. Even unto the end of the world. Please stand up and say to one person, The Lord is with me all the days of my life. I know what in trouble remember I'm in my own I'm in my own I know what in the Jehovah I'm in my own I'm in my own I'm in my own I'm in my own I'm in my own
Jesus Can we see the book of John chapter 10 verse 10? He said I came because of you. And therefore you cannot go home tonight carrying your sickness with you. You must leave it behind. The thief cometh not but for to steal. Yes. And to kill. And to kill. And to destroy. Satan came to destroy, to steal, and to harm, to deprive you, to rob you of all that God has blessed you with. I am come. But Jesus came. That they might have life. That you may have life. And that they might have it you more may have abundantly. It abundantly. He came because of you. And therefore you will cry no more. Obidogo. <laughs> Abalea, Ebobla Gihana Boriano, Mini Amalayan Easy. Oh, what I wore on Kelluru Elum Ebobla Gorian when I hano Joba Chopolayan Easy. Magini, what are your workers? Give me your workers. Uh, 
you promised me you will find space. You will carry them lovingly and caringly and tenderly and respectfully. And um, Idiga bangwa bangwe Idiga bangwa bangwe Idiga bangwa bangwe O twi de ke de nambo Idiga bangwa bangwe Idiga bangwa bangwe Idiga bangwa bangwe O twi de ke de nambo Somebody help, somebody help, somebody help us, somebody bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Put it down, yes. Come, come, come on and stop that. Stop. Stop taking their pictures. Oga, give way now. Image Russo. Bring them out. Where are the workers? Bring them out. Somebody help that person with vomiting. That's what you call total deliverance. Those who can bring out can be placed on their seats. Kara undina run road job. 
Ika hekwensi je me kahana ron rojo. Ana ma choke me bika. Kahana ron we. Onya haya wo. Ogwo onye bunelu. Odin seru aka. Ugwa nare atu eku. Onye mene bere, wonye mene bere. Orugundia, mene hadum e bere. Nogo hanine ka hanwe meri. Ka hanwe meri, 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 ka hanwe meri. Kahwe meri, kahwe meri. Odi obla kinwe na ha, ane menye gidi kiwu. Eba hino, siya po. Siya po. Siya po. Kara undi o yino no chiruzo. Owe ihe ane me na ganko ma. Ta. Uwo mune bidola. Obidola. 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 Kara undi na naga wili akaha ni hea. Atritis. Eba blagi no gugwan saibya neba hino. Wele akagelu, wele yelu. Onyo bla nana he wele akayelu ni hatritis, ni horia. Uba ingu na ilo mwagi. Ndi nana ka hozon koma, ne manya, ika hon. Ni na, ebu beju oba bia wwe ba hino. Ogun di madu goro ge, jowe meru ge. Wan nega hina honan ro ega hon yonzo. Ia anak kusi ke hingguna na balik ke abu pota na balik. Edi gue meheleragi, halonya wama. Onya jura jah halonya na cua cua. Nani Isi mkwa ha No mwagyo nye kibore ya la Afwa Isi mkwa ha No wafu wama ha Hagi me kwa ma Kara kahane me lambo Bihaga la Christmas afo aoga wui hongo. Na ihi ba igu. Udiye gwa geji la we guhana hon bembo. Ufore nji be moto la Christmas mbo. Ma afo aha geji moto. For the mobile hand of Christmas, all you need to know, Afoa, Hagalana, Huike. Ndiro Hage Keleha. Ndiro Hage Jahama. 
Ndino hake nyeho ninye Nani Yukure mkwe genye hama mihe Nantu ziaka Nududu Nanhota Ya eji atando Manisi giji atando Hama mihe Uwe yihe mkuru naba lea Eli igwe naga gemezu Nye na Jesus Adela mbo kuchu uwa Iha edu Uwa mage Obi dola Uwa mage Obi dola Eba ble na ga Otu mozi gesugi Oga lorugi ogogi nile Eli gwe se mwa gene holo nyo wongo Oka di otwa Na chine ke bonne Chine ke okpara Chine ke mwansi Ano me lanya nunu ga kusi aka Amen. Omona, ihe jova se munye unu. Wongozi okbukwasa. Otungoza ha. Ezola idrugi ni ligi. Mahade ngozi okbukwasa. Ewoke made fu ozo. Yeah, I know now, but I won't go to the job at the God's Abraham. Oh, hello, Kegi. Oh, hello, Kegi. We here. All right, and we'll get back to another hoge. Acho acho jo emuge boga no nandogi. Ebi ebi jo emuge boga no na hongi. Mo dindi nogo ma mo dege hamba. Iwe ngozi jova ngozi Abraham okupuasa. Nihia It is like too dangerous for any enemy to handle Remember you have a Batman A bubbly naga Much of a nation Or much of a nation Ihu ma jova gesobi. Ihu jova ya tando ndi ozoma no. Oge di tando ge ma. Ima duwe.
Sinu lo e ba mo nge na me gite ge na bu Oluwa ho ge ku ozo Bia onye obula bi ko soro nku ozo mo di ni rum me mo di ge hama ahola mo nyu wo me Bia ama munu ma ndi igbo so onye kure chi ekwere Ha E bobli na ga Rekwere bozo na digi joba ge me hozo Ana me kelunu Ma onye obla genti ekwere nkwere unu ta Will last for 40 years One of my chief of staff, I know na uh, Port Harcourt. Madu were playing Chonombia. Na ekbere ekbere twenty years earlier. No can I run? Na e make apply for contracts na Israel, but I see Israel chora yabia banya contracts. Yeah, with around five million, one million. Didum Obihan Obama na job a wallah if you know that you know that you know the Lord has healed you of any disease, of any sickness or affliction, can you glorify the Lord by raising up your hand? Raise up those who know the Lord has healed them, raise up your hand, let me see. And I'm going to confirm and affirm and attest your healing with just one short prayer. Father, whoever has been grateful enough to raise his or her hand. Let it not be confirmed. Yeah. Father, at no time shall they cry without heaven responding. Yeah. Yeah. When you plan an alumna balea, Ihoma no warma is the lucky. Hindi on zona chonga chowake. Ndi paburuga sembo ha hongi hange kelegi. Haga jagema. Imehe babu lega hota ya karake na hota buye na bo. Ina agano zo chowa ge kuoku na antigi. Edi gwe si mkwa ge Ni holo nyo woma I holo nyo na cho a cho Ni hi aige ngu do na koko ni lenkendo ge Kai wole miniti se judge over man Let's thank the Lord Let's greet him Let's appreciate him Let's celebrate him In five minutes time Everybody, raise up your hand. Thank the Lord and adore Him. What a mighty God will serve. All that I have done for you tonight shall follow you. 